Dear Earth, from your friends in room five. By Aaron Dealey, illustrated by Louisa Uribe. January, Dear Earth, Happy New Year. We're making resolutions. We hope that this note reaches you. Thank you for all that you give to our world. We'd like to do our part too. How can we help? Sincerely, Room 5. Dear Room 5, your letter arrived on the wind, a whisper of hope in the night. I'm thankful for helpers who care for their planet. Here's one way. Please turn off the lights. Using less electricity saves energy. Stargazers will thank you too. Your friend, Earth. February. Dear Earth, we unplugged our chargers and turned off our lights. Some of us even saw stars. This month, we're charting how much we use plastic. Oh my, plastic trash travels so far. Sincerely, Room 5. P.S. Check out our reusable water bottles. No more single-use bottles or straws for us. Dear Room 5, the stars in the universe thank you. Our friends in the ocean will too. Some turtles and fish mistake plastic for dinner. Does that sound nutritious to you? Your friend, Earth. March. Dear Earth, blech, we sure wouldn't want to eat plastic. Bernard says he might, but he's teasing. We're sprouting seeds for a vegetable garden. We'll plant when the weather's not freezing. Soon, we hope. Sincerely, Room 5. Dear Room 5, springtime does seem rather fickle. The reasons have caused big debates. My climate is tricky, but you keep me hopeful. What's next on your list? I can't wait. Your friend Earth. April. Dear Earth, we learned about climate change. Yikes. We've planted some trees. Aren't they cool? And now that it's April, our whole class decided we're biking or walking to school. Sincerely, your friends in room 5. P.S. Did you notice we wrote this on recycled paper? We are trying to use both sides of our paper when we can. Dear Room 5, I'm proud of your efforts year-round. Some people just help on Earth Day, which is fine. I'm going to call you Earth Heroes instead of Room 5. Do you mind? Forever grateful, Earth. May, Dear Earth, Wow! We'll happily be your Earth Heroes. Bernard wants a cape or some wings. Plus, we won't be Room 5 this summer. And who knows what next year will bring. Proudly, your Earth Heroes. P.S. We planted the garden. Dear Earth Heroes, my glorious friends, I hope you'll still help when school's out. Be water smart washers, teeth brushers, and bathers. Save water in wet years of drought. Tell Bernard this does not get him out of showering. Your friend, Earth. June. Dear Earth, happy summer. No school. We promise to try and save water. I won't splash so much at the pool. And I'm not playing video games or watching TV. Well, not as much anyway. Guess what? My dad and I are going camping. Hope I see some stars. I'm not very good at rhyming. Your friend, Bernard. Dear Bernard, summer is a great time for camping. Go explore, run and play, boat or hike. Thank you for keeping the Earth Heroes going. Share these summer ideas if you like. Clean up beaches and playgrounds. Shop at a local farmer's market. Compost. Your friend, Earth. P.S. If you can, look for times when your family might turn down the air conditioner. It uses a lot of electricity. September. Dear Earth, we did all the things you suggested. The vegetable garden looks great. It's still out behind our old classroom. Now most of us are in room 8. All the Earth Heroes rule. It's our new club at school. Guess who's writing this? Bernard, Earth Heroes President. P.S. 
For September, we're asking the cafeteria to use less plastic. They're already adding our food scraps for lunch to the compost. Boy, those worms in our garden will be happy. Dear Earth Heroes, I'm so glad to hear from my friends. Bernard, look at you. You're a poet. Even better, you're all taking care of our home. Am I proud of my heroes? You know it. Welcome back, Earth. October. Dear Earth, we're getting creative for our school's annual costume parade. There are prizes for costumes from recycled junk. Three guesses what President Bernard made. Your wacky friends, the Earth Heroes. Dear Earth Heroes, your spirit is certainly growing. Here's to making new stuff from old things. You've reused, reduced, and recycled. And Bernard, what incredible wings. What are you planning for November? Your fan, Earth. November. Dear Earth, the Earth Heroes are growing. Our club now has seven new members. This month and always, we are thankful for you. And we're sharing our food in November. With thanks, the Earth Heroes. Dear Earth Heroes, my heart soars with every letter. I'm thankful to be in good hands. I wish I could show you what a difference you're making. I'm truly your number one fan, Earth. December. Dear Earth, season's greetings. We've made decorations from paper towel tubes. We're re-gifting presents this year. We've wrapped them with recycled ribbons and paper. We wish you a happy Earth year. Love always, your Earth heroes. Dear Earth heroes, thank you for caring. Our world needs more heroes like you. Pass it on, keep it going. Please never stop showing the good things Earth Heroes can do. I'll be watching your number one fan, Earth. Dear Earth Heroes, thank you for knowing how important it is to save Earth. Want to learn more? Millions of years ago, way before dinosaurs, fuels formed from fossils of dead plants and animals. When we use electricity, heat or cool our homes or drive around town, we use energy from oil, coal and natural gas made from those fossil fuels. Using fossil fuels releases certain gases into the air. In limited amounts, these gases help keep Earth's temperature just right. However, when large amounts of these gases are released, they trap the sun's heat, like the air in a balloon instead of allowing the heat to escape into space. Can you picture Earth in the center of that balloon? The wind and ocean currents move the trapped heat around Earth, warming the air, water, and soil in some areas and cooling others. Warmer air melts out glaciers, raising sea levels, flooding coastal towns, beaches, and marshes, and harming habitats of coastal birds, fish, and wildlife. Thank goodness scientists have been working on creating renewable energy from solar, water, and wind. This will reduce our need of non-renewable fossil fuels, the ones that can't be replaced once they are used up. 